When you've been with your partner for quite a long time, especially when you've got kids and the pressure of work and looking after the home, it's very easy to kind of think, oh well, that's our relationship, and not to think about looking after it. And you need to give time and attention to it and to use those moments to turn towards each other rather than to kind of ignore each other. I think it's very important to see we're all in harmony with each other and that we get on and we're good friends and we don't argue. It's important to listen, um, both to listen to what they're saying verbally, to listen to what they're saying non-verbally, um, almost the mood music in the background of, of how they're feeling, of what's going on for them, and try and in a sense, if you want to listen effectively, put yourself in their shoes. Communication is everything, but of course you can communicate, in fact we often communicate, not through words, but through our body language. If you're really good at picking up body language, then you've got to show that you've picked it up. Love is a verb. Love's a doing word. So actually, we, if we want to keep loving our partner, we need to keep doing things to express that love and to grow that love. We all give and receive love in different ways and we all receive different things as being loving. So I think it's really important to get behind what is it for your partner that makes them feel loved, makes them feel valued, makes them feel appreciated. Gestures like a squeeze of the arm, a big hug, is a, is a good way of showing that you love someone and other times by what you do to show you've noticed. So you let them watch their favourite programme, like the footy, uh, even though you want to watch EastEnders. Really small things, I mean, even if it's just bringing a little bar of chocolate home in the evening or some flowers if you've had a really bad day. So just real small things that they, they know what you like and they, they remember that sometimes. You know, you rediscover your own feelings, don't you, for each other? And only yesterday we went for a lovely swim together. So that, that, to me, that's love. It's very important. Do things together and your life will be so more enriched. Once the kids are bed and that, then it's your time. And when you have your time, it is nothing else. It's your time. It is very important to have some kind of space together. People talk about quality time, but the question is, what is quality? That's for you to decide as partners. So it might be just time without the kids, or it might be time with the kids where you both feel really relaxed. Our relationship probably did stuff for a good bit in the early days because we just didn't particularly manage to do that. Every study I know says that over time the frequency of sex drops. And if you're lucky, and most people are, the quality um, uh, goes up. But it is very worrying to people when they find that they've not been having sex and they find it really difficult to talk about it. If you find yourself in a situation where your, your sex life is going through maybe a different season, maybe just, and you're feeling stressed about that, to talk about it. Find some space, find some time, maybe find some space where there's no pressure um, uh, around you. So it might be somewhere neutral, it might be going out somewhere and having some food or going for a walk or it might be somewhere you know, more intimate and more uh, private but the key thing is to talk. If you're not having sex there are other ways in which you can be physically close to one another and I think people need to remember that's particularly important. One of the most important things in keeping your love alive as a couple is to keep connected and you do that by keeping in touch with each other's lives, knowing each other as you are now, not just as you were when you first met. Some days you'll be, you know, amazing, and some days you'll have a, a down day or an off moment, um, and that it's important to just know that you're loved and accepted, um, just as you are.